Friends, I welcome you to a quick episode in Becoming a Better Recon, a series where I showcase my advance from a horrible sniper, as <laughs> I may still be, to an awesome sniper, using the advice you leave me in the comments to speed up the process. Then I'm sharing what I've learned and what you've taught me, so feel free to leave the tips below. They can be pertaining to this map, or the game mode, or just new suggestion for weapons, or loadouts, or setups, or whatever, general tips, any of it. And after the patch, coming soon we can only hope, since PS3 was announced for the 27th, I think sniping is going to be a little more viable, with more one-hit kills, etc. So that'll be my time to shine, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. Let's get to this game. Sir Blank and I are playing some Squad Rush, and... The last few matches before this, we had switched the teams twice already. Because we all know attacking is much better than defense. But we got stuck, we couldn't switch anymore. So when we're on a roll like we were this night, and we're on defense, at least one of us snipes because why the heck not, right? So as you saw, I'm bringing my SV-98 to this fight. Using what most of you called a crappy scope last time I tried it out. So I'll definitely try out a new scope next time I'm using this gun. I'm also going to be giving my sidearm, the M1911, a little action in this match. And I have the tugs, and I actually plan it. It's just unneeded this match. After we thwarted the attacker's initial advance, we push up to gain control of the possible routes for this map. You know, the enemies really don't get many options on this map. So this makes it pretty easy for snipers to find good positioning. You know exactly where the enemies are going to be coming from, so I gain control of the right flank. We've already seen how effective rock lasers can be if you want cover, and if you want to revisit that, there'll be a link in the description to the specific spot in my Controlling the Battlefield on Caspian Border where I actually show out and talk about the benefits. And as you can see right now, yeah, I'm using a little bit of fast forward as always. I'm using the advice I got from Mr. Schmatz. I'm making sure to scan the area, but not aim down sight. <laughs> the glare from my scope would just throw a huge bullseye on my head. Plus, I get a wider area to look at. You just want to make sure you're never staying too perfectly still because, again, bullseye. <laughs> As I engage these two snipers, I want you to pay attention to my movement. I miss a few shots, so I duck under cover, gain composure, and then just barely peek my head out to land a kill. Again, gotta duck for cover just for a second not to allow the enemy to get a beat on me. Peek out one more time, going for that second kill. In between shots, I'm trying to get a bit of movement. Even though I have the straight pull bolt and I could just stay aimed down sight, I don't want to stay still too long because even a bad shot can nail a still target. So the goal here is to find a position that is not only advantageous for you, but also for your team. From my position here, I've got plenty of cover, and as you'll see, I have plenty of room to fall back if needed. I also get the ability to effectively see the entire map with only slight turns. And I can give supportive fire to any of my squad mates in their positioning as well. So as we're waiting for the enemies to respawn in, let's just show you how effective this spot can be. In red, I've highlighted all the possible routes for the enemies to advance. From this position, I can see them all. We've already seen the enemies take the two routes on the right. The enemies, making the right move, are going to try for the other route coming up. But they just didn't have the numbers or coordination to take in an already entrenched defense. And as we've learned from our Rolls of the Recon video, positioning is half a battle for being an effective sniper. You need to, even if you can't land a bunch of kill shots, to be in a position for Overwatch to give effective callouts to all your squad mates and keep that overall view of the battlefield, not getting tunnel vision on any one single spot. And now we're back to the waiting game. I'm using these rocks as we've already talked about and I'm scanning the entire area without aiming down sight. What I want to do is just be quiet for a minute and let you watch what happens here and you can tell me what you think I did wrong. Well, now that we've seen them both get taken down by my squad mates, the thing I think I most need to learn from that situation is to take my time before I shoot. I was anxious, I was worried that my teammates were going to get a kill and I wasn't going to get it, and I was greedy, I was fighting for kills, so I pulled the trigger too fast without taking time to really line up that shot. With a sniper rifle, you need to make your shots count. Just as I'm trying to do here, I'm taking a second to aim and get that shot right. That's what you have to do. You can't just keep sitting there pulling the trigger. And now you'll see that the enemies have brought in an MAV. There's only two or three of them at any time on the other team, which I know is not a very fair match for four of us and two of us are communicating. I do think an MAV is a very smart decision for this point in the match. 
Bring it in is going to give you a good idea of where the defense is and hopefully allow you to push up. But unfortunately, with only two of them facing a defense like ours, they don't have a chance and I think taking one more man out of the action is not a good decision. Anyway, you're going to see me get a little anxious again. We're running near the end of the match and I'm trying to get kills just because getting kills is more fun, right? So I push up and abandon the right flank. I quickly remember that it's untended and I move over there just in time to see an enemy and call him out. I don't get the shot, so as I said earlier, I can use these rocks for a good retreat. I'm falling behind to get a new position. While I'm doing that, Sir Blank gets a kill. I'm fairly confident if he wasn't there, by repositioning and using the rocks to my advantage, I still would have gotten the kill. So I'm just going to cut out a little bit of the game. I know I'm generally more of a fast forward guy, but there was really nothing, nothing happening there, so I thought this would work fine. And just in time to show you my one M1911 kill. I'm getting better with pistols with all my sniping, so that's, that's coming in handy. And if you see now, we're down to one ticket. And of course, I am getting anxious, so I see a guy, I want that last kill. Because I get so anxious, I didn't even notice that sniper bullet fly right over my head. I stood on the open too long, the sniper saw the bullseye and took it. Lucky for us, our squad was doing well and we did win the match. Hopefully from here, I gave you some tips, but I also gave you plenty of opportunity to give me further tips. So I really appreciate y'all watching. I hope you swing by and check out the description for me. Happy gaming, everyone.